YouTube, what is going on? It's been a while since I've dropped the video. I'm super excited to bring this video today. I've been posting a lot on my other social media platforms, my TikTok, my Instagram. So if you ain't following me on those, you gotta be following me on those. I post the most on there. But today, this video is special. It's just for you guys, my first 3,000 subs. Appreciate you guys for that. You guys are amazing. I know personally, this is just the beginning for my channel. So I'm super excited to see where this goes and to connect with you guys and build this community with you guys. You guys are early to this channel. I'm gonna remember your names, remember your usernames on here. I love you guys. I appreciate all the likes, all the shares, all the comments, all the support. All you guys who send me videos, I appreciate y'all so much. Today, I ain't gonna be talking a whole lot. We're gonna get straight to this video. It's about the Ark of the Covenant. Where is it today? What does the Bible say about it? Is there, are there any hints as to where it is or where it could be? And what type of impact would that have knowing? What type of impact on the world would that have knowing that the Ark of the Covenant is still around? It proves the Bible, it proves his word. It's still here today. Is it or is it not? We're going to find out in this video brought to us by Informatics. I believe the channel is called Infomatics, something like that. They put together an amazing video. I love the visuals, so I wanted to bring it to you guys and react to it live. So that's what we're going to do. Without further ado, leave a like and let's get straight to this video. Many of us are familiar with the Ark of the Covenant from reading the Old Testament, or for us non-bibliophiles, watching Steven Spielberg's blockbuster hit, Let's go. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Let's go. In the film, the Nazis seek the ancient artifact to use as a deadly weapon against the Allies, and the producers were onto something here, as the Ark was supposed to hold the lethal and devastating power of God. As shown in the film, when the lid flips open and the bad guys get fried. Mm -hmm. Speculations have come and gone as to the whereabouts of the Ark, and this being one of history's best-kept mysteries seems likely to stay a secret. If we knew where the Ark was, as one of the most sought-after religious artifacts in the world, Amazing. it would probably be behind bulletproof glass, with cues around the block to see it before you could say King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar. In this episode of the Infographics Show, the search continues for the answer. Let's go. What is it The at? answer to the question that has fascinated theologians, Bible students, and archaeologists for centuries. Stop playing with us. Let's go. Where could the Ark of the Covenant be? Stop playing. The Ark was a sacred chest built by the ancient Israelites under the instructions and designs of God. Mm -hmm. It was used to house and protect the testimony. The Ten Commandments written on two stone tablets. You couldn't even touch that. It thing. measured 2.5 cubits long. 1.5 cubits wide and 1.5 cubits high. It was built mainly of acacia wood and was overlaid with gold with an attractive artistic border. It had two golden cherubs, one at each end facing each other. Four rings of cast gold above its feet and through those rings would be slotted wooden poles used for carrying and transporting the ark. It was originally kept on the most holy compartment of the tabernacle, a tent of worship, and was screened off so that ordinary people couldn't catch a glimpse of it. Only the high priest could enter the tent and marvel at this holiest of artifacts once a year on Atonement Day. Later, the Ark was allegedly moved to Solomon's Temple. The Bible uses a number of terms to describe the Ark, including the Ark of Jehovah, the Ark of Strength, and the Ark of Testimony. By the time of Babylonian captivity, the Ark had completely disappeared from the pages of history. But the Apocrypha, unofficial Old Testament pages, mm. states that the Ark couldn't be found when the Jewish people rebuilt the temple at the time of Ezra and Zechariah because Jeremiah hid the Ark in a cave inside okay, Mount Nebo before. before the Babylonians invaded. Jeremiah hid it. These texts also state that mm. the exact location of the Ark would never be revealed until God was ready for it to be found. A book published by Randall Price entitled In Search of Temple Treasures presents a number of possible locations for the Ark, uh -oh, we're going including the now. original Mount Nebo location, Egypt, and somewhere. even as far away as Ethiopia. The Ethiopians claim to actually have possession of the Ark in a chapel in the small town of Axum, where they claim it arrived 3,000 years ago and has been guarded by a succession of virgin monks who, once anointed, are forbidden to set foot outside the chapel grounds until they die. Oh no, a yo. Smithsonian journalist went on pilgrimage to Ethiopia to see for himself in 2007 oh and no. was told by the Ethiopian leader of the Christian church that nobody not even himself as church leader is permitted to enter the chapel and feast their eyes on the Ark of the Covenant. Mm. So the journalist returned home and the mystery remained. Mm. 
Another interesting theory that has been whispered in rabbinic circles is that the Ark was hidden in a cave beneath the Temple Mount Israel like during King Josiah's reign. Knowing that the Babylonians were mounting an attack, they took the Ark along with a number of other treasures and stashed them out of sight of the approaching pagan invaders. Like Most of the evidence for this theory of the Ark's location comes straight out of the Bible. The gold-laden box made by Moses was buried in some secret tunnels and passageways constructed by King Solomon, and that is where it still rests in a secret chamber known as the Holy of Holies. Another theory places the Ark in Ireland. In this theory, the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar sent Jeremiah and his men with the Ark across the sea to Europe. However, transporting the Ark would have been no easy feat. The Ark was covered in gold, about $1.5 million worth at today's prices, and would have been an attractive target for thieves and pirates alike. Jeremiah and his men would have required some sort of armed escort, possibly with assistance from the Greeks or Babylonians. And they may not have been heading to Ireland to begin with at all. Perhaps they were heading to Greece or Rome, but discontent with Solon's reforms or finding an inhospitable welcome in Rome, they sailed on up the European coast until they found people who welcomed them, and as the saying goes, any old port in a storm. To support this theory, there is mention in Irish historical documents of a Hebrew named Iarbanel migrating to Ireland around late 580s BC. In 1899 in London, a group of academics alongside the Anglo-Israel Association and led by a judge know, named Edward like Wheeler Bird so went on the hunt for the Ark in Hill of Tara, where Irish folklore indicated the artifact lay on a grassy knoll. However, their timing could not have been worse, as the expedition coincided with the Irish Cultural Revival, a movement of local vested interest in cultural sites. Needless to say, the Brits' three-year excavation was not warmly welcomed, and eventually the search was called off and the Tara Hill hunt was abandoned as fruitless. So, where do you think the Ark exists today, if it exists at all? Egypt? Israel, Ethiopia, Ireland, or perhaps someplace else. One thing is for certain, the search will continue in the minds and hearts of many as long as the mystery remains. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and, and subscribe. Crazy, man. See you next time. Crazy. Real, that was a real short, quick video, very informative. But I wanna know, like, where do you think the Ark of the Covenant is? Out of all those ones that I heard, I personally like and would like to think that it's under the Temple Mount because like that's like the most sought after place in the world. I'm like, what if it's not just for that location, but it's also what's under that location. You know what I'm saying? Like that would just be amazing. Now I've got uh, some messages. Somebody sent me saying uh, that in the book of Revelation, it says that the Ark of the Covenant is in heaven. So that's that's a very interesting thing. One of the things that I kind of was thinking was, you know, how like God has spiritual things that he asked Moses to build a replica of. So that's kind of like my idea was thinking maybe there is an actual spiritual one in heaven, the spiritual Ark of the Covenant. But, you know, God had Moses build a physical Ark of the Covenant for us on earth. And that would just be weird that if God had just that would just be weird to me if God just like took it up to heaven. Because I don't know. The only thing that I would say is, you know, it might be scary because you can't really touch it unless you're like one of the priests or something like that. So that would be very interesting if the Jews know where it is and perhaps they just haven't said nothing or has the Smithsonian taken it and hidden it? Because I've heard that the Smithsonian likes to hide a lot of Christian artifacts and things that prove the Bible, but they would have a hard time, in my opinion, moving the thing. So... I don't know. It's very. It's a huge box. It's a huge box. It's got the Ark of the Covenant in it. It's got um, the Ark of the. Co I'm sorry. The Ark of the Covenant has the Ten Commandments in it. Uh, what is it? A jar of manna, and the, the staff of Aaron that budded. Like those are all like amazing artifacts that we read about in the Old Testament. The stories. Like, wouldn't it just be amazing to go and just feast your eyes on that and just see exactly what you read about? Like, this is it. Like. This is the exact artifacts from thousands of years ago that was written in the Bible. Like, that would just be amazing, man. So, I really do hope that one day before the rapture, we find it. Like, that would be amazing to me. Let me know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
about where is it, what you thought about this video. And, you know, do you think, do you think that we will find it before Jesus comes back? I hope this video blessed you. Feel free to send me some more videos to react to. I also got two more videos, two more YouTube videos coming uh, next week. Um, I'm going to try to knock them out. Two really good videos. Uh, I ain't going to let you guys know what they are. Feel free to hit me up on Instagram and ask me, though, if you want to. So follow me on Instagram. Those videos coming soon. Two more reaction videos. I can't wait to get them done and to bless this channel, to bless you guys. So I love you all. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And let me know in the comments what you thought about this and where the arc is. Um, I love you all. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.